Hi, I'm Peter Birch. Today, guys, we're going to do an upgrade to Oscar's enclosure. Oscar is one of my lace monitors. Today, we're going to give him a bit of an upgrade, change a few things around. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button to continue to join the adventure. Welcome to Critter Cam. So we're going to give Oscar a bit of an upgrade of his enclosure. And um, of course, the first thing we're going to do is take Oscar out of his enclosure. I know. First thing we've got to do is get up the yeah. steps. Watch them steps. They're pretty tricky. <laughs> now, as you can see, we've been doing a little bit of gardening here, some vegetable gardens. Um, hopefully to feed the critters and maybe feed myself, you know. So lace monitors are one of those magical animals, aren't they? They're um, highly sought after overseas and highly feared in Australia. Now these guys do have some absolute amazing claws. So basically the outside of their claws consistently grow, which makes the claws feel like they're always razor sharp and they always tear deep into your flesh. So you've got to be very cautious. And if you ever come across a monitor keeper, you've usually always got scratches or scars on their arms because the animals are clawing them. Uh, not to forget two other voracious weapons these guys have. Obviously the mouth is number one, and the second one is the tail, so we've got to be very cautious. Now, it's um, obviously we're heading into winter here, which is one of the primary times to be working with these animals. They're a little bit cooler, a little bit more less active, as you can see. Oscar here is sitting back a little bit more relaxed, enjoying the sun. And, um, and I'm about to upset him because I'm going to obviously pick him up, handle him a bit, and then I'm going to put him in a box. But I did notice he's got a tick on him, so it's perfect time to pull him out check them over and make sure they're fine without um, stressing them too much. So the easiest thing to do is usually just cover their heads and um, makes it a little bit easier to capture. And as you can see, beautiful animals. And um, I'm getting down here. Yeah, step down where you can. And he's got a couple of little ticks in there which don't typically cause them too much of a hassle. But like I said, the mouth is a weapon, the claws are a weapon, and don't forget that tail quite powerful. Good size uh, monitor can just about knock you out. So we're going to put him in this box, we're going to put him in the shade and we're going to cover him up and make sure he's nice and happy and relaxed while we do some rectifications to his cage. So there we go, Oscar. It's all right, buddy. But more importantly, Queen's pretty inquisitive. Oscar's a little bit upset he's out of his house. So we're just going to put him over here. Cut him up so he feels nice and happy. We don't want him to stress. It's a good thing Quinn's keeping an eye on him. Okay. I'm so gonna die. Take that out. We'll look at this place. Oscar's house. Don't That's right, precarious <laughs> right front door there. Very little ledge. So this is what Oscar's been sitting on to try and bask. Is this thin branch. He's got a couple of nice hollows here. He does go inside the hollow here and sleep in both these hollow logs, which he loves a lot. Um, luckily enough, living where we do, we have the opportunity to grow some beautiful palm trees. And as you can see, basically from Everything else in here, it's pretty devoid of everything really. There's a little bit of grass there, a patch of grass where he gets to sit and rub his belly. So uh, I think what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is clean this up at the back here. Give that a bit of a lick of paint, give it a bit of colour. 
it'll help us blend into the environment. As you can see straight out the back, you can enjoy that. And we've got a few other things I want to chuck in here. Uh, some basking platforms, clean some leaves off, this, off the roof. Up here, and um, let some more sun in. Make it a lot happier for him. As you can see, his neighbors are pretty interested in um, the development. What's going on around here? It's one of his neighbors there. Water dragons uh, live next door that side. And on this side, well, it's Jurassic Park, the big timber fence. And so that's well. because. Yes, the bunny raptors live there. Bunny. <laughs> Rabbit raptors, and as you can see, Quinn's making this job very <coughs> easy. Getting in the way. Well, you will build things on a hill. Yes. Well, you live on a mountain, you've got to make the most of it, right? Dust and cobwebs. Two least favourite friends. I want to be paid danger money. Danger, danger. Plenty of walls inside when you finished. Sorry? There's plenty of walls inside the house when you finished. Let that dry. While it's drying, we'll get Oscar out and uh, check him over and pull off some ticks. Some of those nasty ticks. Geez, I hate painting. Have I told you that before? Yes. Yeah. up there, right up around his face, right up around the, the muncher. I don't know how close I want to get. Well, you're, gonna, you're not so bad off, but you can see them there, there, there. Yeah. And um, just give me a bit of a clawing here. As you can see, he's not too worried about biting, which is a good thing. Yet. Yet. <laughs> uh, as long as he's got a little bit of freedom, he's sort of not too bad, are you, Oscar? Now, with these guys have got really long necks, so if you're not holding them properly here, they can actually swing around and bite you. So if your hand's not in front like that, there we are, look at that juicy little sucker. Mm. And um, I find putting them in water makes it a little bit easier because we know where they are number one. Number two, they come off the tweezers really easy. And, um, yeah, he's just chilling away there. Not going to do the old cannon pop? Ah, uh, no, the squish and splash, no. You can see there's a couple here behind his legs and stuff. He will start to stress out a little bit more. It's only because I'm trying to restrain him a little bit, as you can see. Uh, 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 Quinn. Quinn wants to get involved? No. Come on, back off. Quinn. Down. He doesn't like he just wants a sniff. Yeah. Well, like I say, he's, he's behaving himself very well at the moment. Typically, if this was a wild lace monitor, you'd be in some serious trouble. And unfortunately, buddy, we've got to um, restrain you a little bit. Long pants is a good idea. Probably ones without aircon. Yeah. Without the aircon attachments. We will um, try and get these off as quick as possible. 
But the thing is, you know, in nature these guys can deal with a large load of parasites like this. And um, it doesn't really cause them an issue. Because we live in the rainforest. We try to keep things natural here. <laughs> but, you know, got to keep on top of those parasites. Make sure we get them out the right way. As you can see, he's sort of used to it. I say he's sort of used to it, but he's not. You know, we only do this once or twice a year just to make sure he's not overwhelmed. Hey, not for puppies. Let him go a little bit and let him relax a little bit. So there's a big bunch under his chin there we just got. But like I say, as you start poking around, you'll You'll find more here and there, and you know, he's in good condition. Much better now. Oh, right up under there. Oh, my. Yeah. His chin rubs. Chin. Until he bites. Beautiful boy. Now we're going to have to put you uh, back in your little holding box until we finish because I've got a couple more upgrades for you, my little friend. Yeah. There we go, you feel much better now, don't you? Look at you. Oh, I'm so excited, Daddy. Remember, this isn't a wild lacy. You'll be in some big trouble, trust me. Come on, buddy. All right. So Oscar's a little bit better off right now. So what we're going to do is I've got some branches. I'm going to chuck some more ledges in here. I want to make some more areas where he can bask. So I've got a something similar to what I used in the rough scale cage which is a basically a, it's a big tree stump that's split that'll look perfect here and also lace monitors do climb and they do bask vertically a little bit different um, and we might be able to sneak in a horizontal ledge above the top there where you can sit there and bask quite your early morning sun late evening sun and hang out and look really cool so gonna go grab those and bring them in check it out So three foot, eight foot high and three foot wide. Weirdo. Sounds relevant, right? I just know I'm five foot. That's it. You're short. Short of it here. Yep. <coughs> the best view. Yeah? Yeah. This is how everyone sees me. That's 
my life. Looking <laughs> down. So we go, uh, just double check that width because I want to put a, a nice basking ledge right across here. So if it's 9. 35, 935. Measure twice, cut once. Maybe. Ah, yeah, the old Almost looks legit, right? plumber pencil. Yep. Probably a lot of people shouldn't try things like this at home. Yeah, you should have a disclaimer. Please do not do anything I do. Unless you know what you're doing, if you're not good with power tools, please do not attempt to cut off your fingers. Leave it to the professionals. Noisy, eh? It's horrid. Beautiful. Sound of progress. magically going to be floating in the big oasis of the cake <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to get up like this. Where is that called? That's what I want it to do like that. Like that. <laughs> 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 Nice big flat spot there where you can get in there and bask. For you to hit your head on as you go through the door. Yeah, well, it's not about me. Oh. I'll be fine. Yeah, to Oscar. Chilling out. Enjoying. Enjoying life, really. Yeah. Flotation. How do I make things float? Magic. Hmm? Magic. Through that. Kind of like what you've stuck me on the ledge here. The magic. The magic of life. So now if I put this on die. first, that'll give me somewhere to rest my things on. That's what I'm going to do. Blaze that in there. Look out how, st how stressed the animals are. What's that? How stressed the animals are. Yeah. They do not care. Probably not as stressed as me, but that's all right. No, no. Right. He has a pretty good view on him. He does. He's down. Judging. Not bad. I mean, he's gonna love it, right? So How are you going to keep that there? Well, I'm not really sure, but I reckon, I reckon I can notch.
I'd help you, but it's fun to watch you struggle. Yeah. Thank you. No. This is why people use fake logs. Huh? They're lighter. Yeah. yeah it's true that. So true. 50 mil, all that work for 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters. <laughs> She's literally worse than having a toddler. Oh, yep. <laughs> Magically, we're going to put another block of timber there, we're going to put some screws through the outside into it. That's what's going to hold this thing together. Okay. Oh, going to get on with it, hopefully, with less help. That? Oh my goodness gracious, he's using treated pine. Yes, yes I am. But... Is it the safe one? Yes, it is the safe one. There is a safe one. What does that mean, safe? Well, it's not made, it's not got preservatives through arsenic, and all sorts of nasty chemicals. It's actually a friendly. Friendly. Breaks down. Time. Keeps out all the white ants and prevents timber from rotting away too quickly. Who would think that this enclosure is like 20 plus years old? It's um, old and a bit worn down, just like myself, really. Yeah. You'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so you can see that a little bit better. Sit something on there. 
Let me show. Drop the screws into it. Down, sideways, inwards, upwards, downwards. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Got a lot more fixings we can do. So we'll get this in. This is really what he's gonna love, this one. It's gonna make him happy, we reckon. I hope so. Get up there, sit on that ledge. He's gonna enjoy the sunshine. Got lollipops, but you know. Extra additions. I think it's time for you to make your way to the door. To the barking. Squish past me. Yeah. yeah. Keep that thing to yourself. Oh. Yeah. I don't like you. He is beautiful. He is beautiful. I reckon, mate. Made some changes. Mm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show as much as Oscar's going to enjoy his new cage. Make sure you give us a like. Make sure you hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time, guys. Oski is going to be loving his new cage. I'm too sure. <laughs>